What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, bringing you another Running on Empty Beginners Pokemon League battle. This is week... What week are we in? Four or five? I should have checked it. I'll check it. Uh, right now, we're, we're about to go fight. His name is uh, OK underscore Boomer. His name is OK Boomer. Pretty funny. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to battling him right now. Looks like we found Boomer here. His uh, in-game name is Olaf. Gotta dig that. Um, so, Olaf quit deciding rules. Okay, I get to decide the rules. I'm the game changer. How are you guys doing? Okay, so, I checked, by the way. This is, uh, this is week four of the league. The reason why I was so confused is because we actually took a week break for Christmas week. And so that's why I was kind of confusing. And then also, last week I had to, like, do a rematch against, if you didn't catch that, I had to do a rematch against JWA. Because he was taking over someone else's slot who left our league. But now we're back into it. I'm rocking. I believe this is the same team I fought JWA with. I know that this team has like been my main team. But I switched it up a little bit. I switched out Gastrodon for Dracovish. And I kind of like it. And to be honest, I this is not an excuse. If I lose, I lose. But I haven't really played since JWA and I uh, battled. I've been on Pokemon Showdown trying out new teams and new mons. And uh, let's see here. Okay, he has Inteleon. Colossal is always annoying. Hatterene is like a Trick Room setter, but I don't think he's going to be setting Trick Room with this. Is he? Oh, actually, I guess Colossal is kind of slow, unless he has Steam Engine. And Corviknight's kind of slow. I don't know about whatever the Gol... Gol... Golurch, or whatever that thing's name is. Okay, what do I want to lead here? I feel like I want to lead the Grim Snarl. And vi oh, I almost just called him Vicious Ren. I'm gonna leave Grimstar on my Vicious Ren. Actually, let's do Wismacot and Rotom Heat because then I have Tailwind and I have Fire and Electric, which will be nice. And then we'll do in the back, we'll do Dragapult probably. I'm thinking, and then Dracovish. Yeah, this Corviknight's not really gonna do much for me here. Yeah, Corviknight kind of gets bopped by this team. So we'll do Dracovish in the back. So we'll have a Tailwind. I've been liking to bring Grimstone Dracovish, though, because I have the Paralyze, and I don't have to worry about the Paralyze, like, going away. But the thing with Tailwind is it doesn't just affect one Mon, but it does go away. Like, the, the speed difference is what I'm talking about with the Paralyze. So we'll see, though. I just feel like... Uh, I just didn't want to leave Dracovish because of that, the Colossal. You know, so I feel like I have a pretty good pretty good deal here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to Tailwind, which is an obvious move, but it's what I need to do. And then I will Volt Switch into the Inteleon. Yeah, I'll Volt Switch, and then I can switch to... Uh, Volt Switch, and then I can switch to Dragapult, because I'll have max overgrowth, which will be nice. So Volt Switch there, he's probably going to Scald into this slot. Does that get... Is Inteleon a weak boy like that, or what just happened? Is Inteleon just a weak boy? Uh, see, I can do Dracovish now. I think I'm going to switch to Dracovish now, because even though this Colossal is going to get Steam Engine, or whatever, more than likely, it's all right with me. Yeah, I think we're going to do, I think we're going to go Draco, since we have a fresh Tailwind up. I, is Inteleon, like, I wonder if he's just not EV slash IV trained, or what? I'm focus sashed. See, that didn't even, I don't know, man. I kind of feel like he's not EV or IV trained right now. Then again, though, I don't think I've officially have fought against an Inteleon or a Colossal. Oh, I have fought against Colossals. But I don't think I've officially fought against an Inteleon. So he's a burnt out, so he's not fire type anymore. Interesting choice there. So now I can just Giga Drain you, but I don't want to double up into that slot. Can I Moonblast or Giga Drain you? I think I'm going to Moonblast because it does more, more damage. No, I need a Giga Drain because I'm going to get... Actually, I'm gonna, I am going to double up into this slot because... My once my cot should go first to get the the X R H P back that I need. Yeah, good, good. I need my I need my once to get the H P back that it so rightfully deserves. 
And then now I can guarantee this thing's going to go down. Obviously, it could have protected, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. So that's definitely a knockout on poor Colossal. Man, dude, Boomer is... Poor guy, dude. He's getting kind of... Oh, Flame Body. He's not even Steam Engine? Oh. Are you like... You know, honestly, I kind of feel like this... Ooh. Ooh, that hurt. That was a good... Was that Dazzling Gleam? That hurt a lot, dude. I can't believe that knocked out my Wisma Cot. Okay. So, let's see. I don't want to go into Stewart now because I know he's going to be Dazzling... Dazzle... Dazzling... Gleam, and I don't have Wilsman Cod anymore to set up another Tailwind. Oh, this is perfect right here. So unnerved, not going to be eating any berries. I don't have any berries on any of my mons currently, so we are good on that front. How many more turns of Trick Room, or Tailwind? So two more Tailwind turns. Oh, boy. So I believe what we should do here is, I think we're just going to Dynamax our Rotom. Actually, what we're going to do is I think we're going to trick this Corviknight. No, we're not going to do that. We're just going to Dynamax the Rotom, th Max Thunder into the Corviknight slot, and then Vicious Rend into the Hattering slot, because he hasn't Dynamax either. So he's probably going to be Dynamaxing the Corviknight here, I can imagine. I'm recording, right? Yeah. I always got to check. Wait, Boomer just messaged me and said, good luck. Oh, no, he messaged that a little bit ago. It says he's having... He said, I think I misclicked something. Oh, no. He, yeah, he, he said good luck at the beginning of the match, and I totally ignore that. My bad. And then he said, I think I misclicked something. XD. Uh-oh. I wonder what this misclick could possibly be. Here's the thing, though. I feel like my max... So, here's, I know Max Line is not going to knock out Corviknight. Just be... Oh. Maybe it will knock out Corviknight. I thought he was going to max... I thought he was going to Dynamax the Corviknight. Huh. He hasn't said anything. Max Lightning into the Corviknight. This might actually knock it out. Yep. Oh my goodness. I feel like it just one hit everything. I don't, I honestly, like, don't know. So this is a beginner's league. Okay. Yeah, he just said one hit XD. This is a beginner's league. So I don't expect everyone to have everything, like, set perfectly. But I will also say that there's me plus a lot of other people have mentioned in our little group chat, like, if you need help with anything, let us know. And, uh, I mean, Boomer's never mentioned anything. And also, Boomer, while we're here, let's see. Boomer is actually in the league. He's, uh, actually, he's just 1-2 and two right now. So after this match, he's going to be 1-3. and three. So he's the same record I'm at, like a 1-3 and three record. I'm going to be at 2-3 and three now. He's going to be at 1-3. and three. Because he hasn't had any double double matchup weeks yet. So I don't really know. Uh, well, well, I guess we'll just do a Max Flare and then a Fire Blast. Or a Shadow Ball. Because that's super effective and it's 100% accuracy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to talk to Boomer after this. He said, no, I didn't misclick GG. I'm going to say GG, my man. And then I am going to... I'm going to be talking to Boomer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to help him. Set up a team here. Set up some IV and EV training. But that is going to do it for this video. I know it wasn't like that entertaining because I don't believe that he was competitively trained. But I did say that I wanted to put all these matches on the YouTube channel. So, I, I'm, you know, I'm still going to put this up there so we can keep track. I do have, I did recently make playlists for everything. Like all my series, or like series I have. Or, like, game playlist. And so, the Running on Empty Beginner Pokemon League is its own playlist. So, you guys can now check that out, check that out if you want to. And it will go in the order of which it was uploaded. So, but other than that, thank you guys for stopping by in the description down below. You'll be able to find my Twitter and Instagram. I'm trying to learn how to work Instagram. I've been posting on it a little bit. And then also, all of Running on Empty's links will also be in the Discord down below. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for stopping by.